Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. In a previous video I demonstrated how to extract the longest stream from a river network. In this video we are going to automate the process using the graphical modeler. You will also see that a little different approach was used here, which is more generic. So I use here as input files a uh, file with uh, the junctions. But that can be any vector layer that you have which has uh, springs and the outlets and the channels layer that's the network let's start building the model in the processing toolbox choose create new model this is the interface of the graphical modeler let's first define our inputs we need a vector layer uh, where the user can input the channels network which we will use for the routing should be a line vector and the second input data that we need is the layer that has the springs and I use here vector features so the user can use a selection from attribute table like in our case we want in the junctions file type that equals the springs and it should be points so there it is and then the third input that we need is uh, the outlet uh, given the algorithms that we use, that needs to be indicated on the map as a point. So therefore we use point, where the user can click on the position to which the distances need to be calculated from the springs. So here we have our inputs in yellow. Now let's uh, use the algorithms. And the algorithm that we need here is the shortest path layer to point. From the network analysis because our layer has the springs so let's uh, change here the description so it's clear shortest path from the springs to the outlet and we keep the network as channels network that's the line it automatically detects it and then the vector layer with the start points are the springs and then the endpoint is the outlet input that is selected on the map. So with that the algorithm can calculate the shortest path. And then we want of course to extract the longest of those paths, which is the longest stretch in our river system. And we can use their extract by expression. So we can make a the tool extract longest stream but we need to know what expression so what I'm going to do is to run the tool first uh, without this and then see how the fields are called and uh, what expression we can use so I'll go back to the shortest path tool and there in any uh, algorithm if you write the uh, result it will create the result so th this is the green box which defines the output file that will be written to disk and that also the user can choose in the interface. I'm going to give our model a name, longest stream in channels network, and I give a name of a group to which this tool belongs. So if in the future I have more they will be grouped under that name. I'm going to save this under uh, my profile where the models are automatically stored. And then I uh, can run the model and see what the shortest path uh, result is before we continue building it further. So interface works nicely. I choose the channels. I click on the outlet. And from the junctions, let's make then the selection for the springs. So go to the attribute table. I can uh, select by expression and choose type and then equals spring and click select features so now all the springs are selected in the file and check the box to use those selected features only and then I run it and now I get the shortest path from all the springs to the outlet they're here and we see that there's the cost field which gives the distance and what we need to do is find an expression to get the maximum distance, so the feature with the maximum cost value. So let's extend our graphical model 
uh, with that. First I'm going to remove this output and go back to edit our model. I'm going to remove the output here because we don't need to write that yet to disk. And then I use another algorithm where we can extract attributes by writing an expression. I'm going to rename the tool extract longest stream and the input is of course our shortest path output and then I can make the expression which is that it should be the feature for which the cost equals the maximum of all the cost features in the attribute table and if it matches it will be the longest stream. I save the model and I'm going to select from the attribute table our springs and um, this is very generic so this will work with any layer where you can select the features that are springs or sources. Now they are selected so we can uh, run the model. We can use any stream network and we need to select the outlet. I do a bit rough now and I use only the selected features and I click run and it runs our model. Click close and when I hide uh, the channel network I see that now the longest stream is uh, remaining. And when I open the attribute table I can also see the cost field which gives the total length of that stream. Um, it's not exactly the same as in the other video, that's because I uh, clicked it a bit roughly where the outlet was. But you can do that more precisely. So we have built a nice tool that can be used in a generic way to extract the longest stream from a channel network.